Did you know that the problem of hearing and background noise has already been solved by Google? Hey guys, Cliff Olson, Doctor of Audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And in this video, I'm talking about the already developed Google AI technology that uses cameras to solve the background noise problem. If you were to ask a handful of people who use hearing aids what the number one problem is that they would like solved, I would venture to say that 100% of them would want better hearing and background noise. Now, hearing aid technology has significantly improved over the past several decades, especially since the mid-1990s when digital digital sound processing really started to hit the scene. However, current strategies used by hearing aid manufacturers to improve speech understanding and background noise has had marginal improvements over the past several years. This is due to the fact that it is very difficult to take a mixture of different sounds from your environment and only selectively amplify the ones that you want to hear without amplifying the ones you don't want to hear. Some would argue that advances in deep neural network technology used by some major hearing aid manufacturers has resulted in an improvement in speech understanding and noise, but there is still a lot of room for improvement. But what if I told you that the use of cameras, yes, cameras could significantly improve your hearing and background noise to a point where hearing and noise would almost be as easy as hearing speech in quiet. And what if I told you that this technology already exists? I'll explain that here in a minute, but if you could do me a huge favor and click the like button, it really helps out the channel because it gets these videos in front of a broader audience. And while you're at it, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on, go ahead and do that as well because that ensures that you never miss one of my newly released videos. And I release a ton of new videos every single week. That being said, let's get into this technology and what it actually does. Okay, so one of the best things that humans can do to understand speech in background noise is not only use their hearing, but use their vision. By being able to see the mouth of the person that's talking to you, you're able to obtain visual cues that your brain can use to help separate out the speech that you want to hear from sounds that you do not want to hear. If you take away these visual cues, being able to hear in background noise becomes significantly more difficult, even for individuals with normal hearing. So when it comes to hearing aids, wouldn't it make sense to not only use auditory information, but visual information as well to help separate speech from noise? Well, this technology already exists, and it has existed since 2018, thanks to Google Artificial Intelligence. Let me go ahead and show you an example, starting with listening to someone speak in a noisy cafe Materia without the use of Google AI. Okay, so the task is um, given the video, any person who you see talking, their audio gets cleaned up and everything else gets suppressed. Now listen to that same clip with the use of Google AI that uses cameras and auditory information to help separate out the speech of the person you want to hear. Okay, so the task is um, given the video, any person who you see talking, their audio gets cleaned up and everything else gets suppressed. Crazy, right? Well, here's another example of someone on a video conference call inside of a public space without the use of Google AI to start. Hi guys. So we've been trying to train this network to input two embeddings and output three. Yeah, this is just an extra experiment for the paper. Now listen to it using Google AI to separate out the speech of the main talker. Hi guys. So we've been trying to train this network to input two embeddings and output three. Yeah, this is just an extra experiment for the paper. And if you really want to, Google AI allows you to remove the main talker's voice and just give you background noise. And finally, how about this example of two comedians up on stage talking at the exact same time? Every time it's just you one get question on in it. life. There's a lot of questions. We all walk Actually, through the same door. Where in we the all world the is same Carmen price. San Diego? Huh? Regardless Does anybody look in San race? Diego? Now, notice what happens when you use Google AI to selectively pull out the speech of the comedian that you want to hear. That's just one question in life. There's a lot of questions, actually. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Huh? Regardless of our race, culture, or our religion on the bus. So how in the world is this even possible? Well, by using a combination of visual and auditory information fed through a deep neural network, Google AI is able to pair the audio with the visual to separate out the sounds that you want to hear from the sounds that you do not want to hear. Here's how it works. 
Both the video and audio inputs are fed into a pre-trained deep neural network, which means that the deep neural network was able to perform deep learning. In the case of these comedians, we have a video input for each of their visual features and a combined audio input for both of their voices. The deep neural network then uses each of their visual speech cues to identify and separate out their voices from each other. So you're left with only the speech from each person individually. Then it's just a matter of selecting which one of them you actually want to hear. Now, if you wanna get more information on how this audio visual speech separation works, I will link a full paper down in the description of this video. But do me a favor, leave me a comment down in the comment section about what you think about this technology and whether or not you would like to see this technology work its way into your hearing aids. Now I should mention that hearing aid manufacturer Oticon does use a deep neural network to perform sound processing, but it only utilizes audio information, not visual information. But I'm willing to bet pretty much any amount of money that if hearing aids could perform this type of audio visual speech separation, that the problem of hearing and background noise would be pretty much solved, and that's without needing an assistive listening device like a remote microphone that would be currently needed to be able to achieve this level of hearing in a noisy situation. However, you're probably thinking to yourself, yeah, that's great, Cliff, but where the heck are we going to get the cameras to do this in a hearing aid? Well, instead of mounting cameras on a hearing aid, I suspect that hearing aids of the future would be able to wirelessly communicate with eyeglasses that you wear that have built-in cameras like the Ray-Ban and Meta smart glasses. I would also suspect that in addition to having outward facing cameras from your eyeglasses, you would also have inward facing cameras that are looking at your eye movements so the deep neural network would be able to identify which visual input you want to separate out the audio for. Now as I think about it, for this to become a reality with hearing aids, we're going to need several things. First, we would need a deep neural network that is trained with thousands, maybe millions of different audio visual inputs so we could train it enough to be able to function in a variety of different environments. Second, we would need a way to receive both audio inputs using microphones and visual inputs using cameras. Third, we would need a chip with extremely fast sound processing capabilities to be able to perform this audio visual speech separation in real time. And fourth, to be able to do all of this, we would need an insane amount of battery power because this would take a ton of energy to accomplish. Not to mention, if there are patent restrictions on this type of technology, we would have to be able to have hearing aid manufacturers license this technology to be able to utilize it. Regardless, the exciting thing is, is that this technology has actually existed already for the past six years. Unfortunately, we're still not there yet, but I do believe that it is a question of when it will happen rather than if if it will happen. I just have my fingers crossed that within the next six years, we'll see this technology become a reality for hearing aids.